What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to install the TRD Pro Grill along with Raptor lights into your fifth gen 4Runner. So I recently converted the front end of my fifth gen 4Runner here to the TRD Pro front end, the skid plate, all that's in there. The thing I'm missing though is the upper grill, the upper TRD Pro grill. Um, I went into Foreigner Lifestyles to get this grill. There's a lot of different ones online. There's some Chinese versions that I've heard bad things about. They look the same, but about a year later, the paint and that sort of thing will start to flake off. The UV light, the elements gets to it. It just seems to break them down. They don't last that long, so don't cheap out. The ones on Foreigner Lifestyles seem to have a really good reputation, so I'd recommend going with them. Um, I got mine and some Raptor lights included. It's an add-on. You can go into the website and add on the Raptor lights. I'm really excited to put this on. Um, I feel like it really just kind of cleans up the grill. That big Toyota symbol to me just isn't very appealing. Um, having that flat black center bar really kind of opens up the grill and makes everything look more cohesive. So let's jump into the job and let's get this in. All right, so for the first step here, we have 13 little pop clips. So we just need to get a little flathead screwdriver in there. Just kind of get in the corner of the clip, just pop it up and then pull up the clip and it should just come out. Um, there's some on the top here, some in the corners, some up here. So 13 in total, remove those and then we'll take this out. All 13 are removed. Just put this off to the side. All right, so with the cover out of the way, now we have two clips here. So follow your headlight along. You'll have a little tab here. So just pop a screwdriver in there, pop that up, pull that clip out. There's another one, the passenger side headlight. Pop that up, take that one out. You will have a 10 mil in the very center. So kind of follow up the symbol right here, a little 10 mil. Let's remove that. And then we will have four more. One here, 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 and there to remove. Great, so once you remove the clip from there, there, the four running along there, and you get that little 10 mil off, you can basically grab onto this. Just gonna move it around a little bit while pulling, and it will just come out as easy as that. All right, so here's the piece we just removed. We wanna keep this upper piece here that runs along, and we wanna take this piece out. We're gonna be replacing this piece here, so have a towel or something down to protect the paint. Take a Phillips head screwdriver and you're gonna have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven 10, 11 Phillips screws to remove here. So let's do that now. Great, and just remove that part like that once you got those 11 screws off. And then we're gonna put our new piece onto this. So at this point you'll take your, your new grill that came with your TRD Pro kit and you'll insert it to replace your old grill. What I'm doing is aligning the pins at each end and then every other clip or insert should line up with each hole. Really impressed with the fitment. All of these screw holes are lining up perfectly. So now I can go ahead and start putting my 11 screws back in and I'll have to replace this piece on here. There'll be almost like little clips sticking out here that you'll kind of fit it into. But let's, let's start off here first. You will find that the two on this piece here are a little, a little harder to get in. And that's because you're actually screwing into new plastic. Whereas up here on these ones, you're screwing into the old plastic of your original plastic here. So you will have an extra screw just because this one has a screw that goes in here. This grill does not have that. All right. So we got to put the Toyota letters onto the actual bumper. This is probably a legality because they don't own the rights to Toyota. So they can send you some letters and allow you to put them on the bumper. 
I mean, you, maybe you could change the orientation, I don't know, but um, you have to put the letters on yourself. I went with silver, there's also black, like a flat black option, and I believe a white option. Um, what you're gonna wanna do is, the two O's are different, the little tabs are different, the orientation on here is, is slightly different, so test fit them, um, test fit all of them, just kind of hold the, the T up, there'll be two little bumps here, just make sure those kind of slide in. There it is. And then the O, I'll just kind of, there it is. And just make sure that the letters are in the right spots and that they seem like they fit properly. There's an adhesive on the back. Eventually what you're gonna do is peel the adhesive off and actually stick it on. Um, lightly put it on and just kind of make sure everything looks good. Then you can kind of rearrange and then really kind of commit and push down on them to secure them down. All right, so I'm pretty happy with that. Um, the O was confusing. I had it around the, the wrong way, so I had to actually pull it off, readjust it, and put it back down. What I would suggest doing is look from the top and you can see the tabs and then you can visually line them up. So just look down and, or from the side and you'll be able to see where those tabs are, line them up, stick them, and then kind of just reposition to kind of get things perfectly lined up. But yeah, happy with that, but on to the next step. All right, so we have our Raptor lights here. You're gonna feed these through the front. They have a little plate on the back that you're gonna screw into the back of this and it will secure it onto this grill. So we'll feed this plate through. So we'll just kind of turn this sideways. And I'm gonna do one kind of out here, one in the center, and one out here. So just turn this sideways. Let's feed the electrical connector through first, turn that sideways, pop it through, and it should be a nice snug fit in there. And then what you'll do is just turn it around slide this backing plate down to the bottom there, kind of support it from the bottom. And then you will have supplied screws here. They're Phillips head screws. And you'll just screw that down and secure that in. Use your hand on the bottom, just kind of pinch it together to provide good support. And just snug. Great, and then repeat that process here and back over here, and then you're done. I went with the smoked ones. Do like the look of that, it's gonna look awesome. All right, so we're just about ready now to start putting things back together. So let's start off with this Toyota part. All right, so you got four strips of tape here. Uh, what we're gonna do is remove the bottom pieces of tape. And don't remove the whole strip, just remove the red part. Mine's kind of delaminating here. Okay, there we go. Make sure that this is secure on here. Rub your thumb along this. Mine's, mine didn't seem secure in one spot there. It's a little concerning. So just make sure that it's actually secure before peeling off your red tape. All right, so those little tabs you can kind of pull on. All right, so you'll have two on the top here, two tabs. You're gonna to wanna to peel this back. All right, so peel the red tabs back like this and kind of fold them over the top like that. And you're gonna kind of hold them with your thumbs like this and then you're gonna slide this on. Make sure you got it centered. It's a pretty tight fit. Maybe come from the bottom and kind of push up. Make sure that it looks centered as you're putting it in. Look on each side. Get it in there nice and tight. Push it in and then kind of peel up your top edge here. slide this tape out and then that's what will stick it down so you just kind of pull up as you're pulling the tape off
pretty, pretty happy with how that looks. And it's on, happy with how that looks. It's uh, the gaps on each side are pretty much even. This one might just have a little bit more at the bottom, but pretty good. Nobody would ever notice that. All right, so I'm loving the way that garnish looks. The Toyota looks great. Let's start putting the upper grill on now. Got our Raptor lights in there. Those are looking good. So you really wanna put pressure down here along this edge, kind of hold that part down on each end and slide it in and just visually make sure that your holes here are lining up on each side with where the clips go in. So let's do that. Make sure that your Raptor lights, the harness isn't getting in the way of anything. You don't wanna pinch and break one of those connectors. See how we'll slide that in like that. Keep the pressure on there. And I'll just put my clips in. And we got that 10 mil that we'll do on the top here. Great, so we just did that tab there, that little push clip there. Now we'll do our 10 mil in the middle here. Make sure this is all lined up right. And then if we come down here, we're gonna do our four more at the bottom of the grill into those locations. All right, so we'll push those down. All right, so wiring up the Raptor lights is actually quite easy. What you'll need is your harness to plug into the Raptor lights. Uh, you'll have your, your fuse plug in here. This is what's gonna hook you up to power. You'll have two fuses that will go into this kind of fuse plug. Um, then you'll have your ground. Uh, you'll need an X-Acto knife just to cut your grommet and to put your wires through it. Zip ties to clean things up. Some electrical tape just to kind of seal things up, um, prevent you from having any, short, any shorts. Um, and also, something like this is optional. This is kind of just an insulator for your wires. Looks nice in the engine bay. Um, I might use this, I might not. This harness actually has a thin insulator around it to kind of protect the wires, so this might just suffice, but that's all you'll require. All right, so we have our Raptor light clips here. We have three on mine. Um, if you have four, some versions have four, some versions have three. I went with the, the three smoked version, which I think looks great. Um, but you'll take your harness here and You'll want to feed your harness under this part, the center brace. And we'll just start plugging in our Raptor lights. Now, you won't hear a click on some of them, but they do lock in really well. So don't be surprised if you don't hear a click. That's just normal. Right, plug in the second one here. And we'll plug in our third one. We'll click on that one. So you'll have some extra wires. All of the clips are the same length that go to the Raptor lights, so that's why you'll want to use your zap straps. We'll kind of tidy this up later. But we have our harness here. And what we're going to do is we're going to take this wire and we're going to feed it kind of down here. And you're going to go, there's a little opening here for the headlight and you're gonna come through this little opening just behind your headlight. So take this wire, put it through here. to go kind of under this. There's a piece that sticks out and it kind of hits the side um, wall here. So you're gonna to wanna to go under that. So this might take me a moment. What I would do is go under the ground here. Kind of pull your wire through. And then there'll be a piece that comes up here. 
well as you can get it behind there. Great. Good. As you can see, grommet here we need to remove and what we're going to do is cut that grommet into two so I'll just use a pair of these to grab on the grommet and I'll just pull it out perfect there's a grommet all right so for our grommet here what I'm going to try to do is drill out the center part um, and then I'll cut the edge so we can fit our wire through but still have a seal Great, make some space for the wire. And then we'll use our knife. And we'll just cut like that. Great. So now we'll kind of go around our wire and then we'll just push that grommet back in. Our wire will go through the center. All right, so what I found worked best for this is when I was feeding the wire in, feed the wire in down through the hole because you want it to come out underneath this kind of insulation layer. Um, so if you feed it down and then when you get into your car and look up, you'll actually have to pull this insulation up a little bit and then you will see your wire. But your wire has to face downwards to kind of get down far enough for when you pull this up. This little circular part here, you know, will pull up just above that and that will reveal your wire and you'll pull it through. So we have our wire here now. Let's remove our tape. Great, so we have our red wire and our black wire. What we'll do is we'll just pull a little more slack, pull some more wire out. Great. We will take our red wire here, twist this. We'll feed it in here using some you know, heavy duty pliers or a crimper. Great, crimp that down. Let's crimp the whole thing. Um, but yeah, we have this part here. I put my two fuses in, my 10 amp fuses. This is ready to go. Um, but before we move on to the next step, we'll do our ground. Same thing. Give this a twist. We'll pop our ground on here. Just crimp down on that. Yeah, just kind of give them a tug, make sure they're in there good. That's pretty good. All right, so we got our wires all set to go. Now what we did is we pulled our cover off of our fuse panel here. You'll have your fuse panel. Uh, you'll have, let's see, you'll have a 15, 7.5, 10, 10, another 10. Between these 10s, there's a gap, and that's where we're going to plug this into. So let's do that now. Just come under, and we'll just plug that in. Perfect. So that's hooked up. I'm going to kind of tuck our wire here and we will take a 10 millimeter and we're going to undo this 10 here and this is going to be our ground. This is where our ground is going to go. Take that off. We'll slide that back on there and we'll do that up. Now I feel like this is probably not going to go back on unfortunately because this kind of protrudes quite a bit. So, you know, I'm not a huge fan of that. I'd like to be able to put that back on, but I'll probably just throw it in the glove compartment for now. Maybe one day if I ever remove these Raptor lights, I'll, you know, put this back on. Uh, what I'll do with the wires now though, is I will take them 
And I'm gonna do this just going directly down from the hole there, tuck it into this carpet, at least for now. Later on I might, you know, get zap straps and start to strap it to things to kind of secure it more. There's nothing more I hate than a wire coming loose and getting into my pedals or something. All of our wiring is now complete. All right, so I got my wire in there nicely. Get my grommet. You can see kind of where I cut it out. It's a nice tight fit. Um, I did that because I didn't want any exhaust fumes or anything from the engine bay slowly seeping into my cab. Um, just want to do it nice and tight and good and clean. Um, now what I'll do is I'll probably secure my wire here, probably along this harness. As you can see, there's already a harness here. So I'll secure it along there and all the way to the front. I will use my zap straps and I will bundle this up. Kind of like so. I will zap strap this all together and then I will probably use this little hole here that already exists and I'll just run them along and I'll finish zap strapping it to that. And maybe somewhere you know, along here, zap strap it in there just to clean all those wires up, make them tidy and nice. So they don't catch on anything or get in the way. And I'll try to do it in such a way that I can re still remove my bumper. Just all I have to do is undo these little tabs and the bumper will come off and go back on easily uh, because I do plan on taking this off to do more mods. But yeah, that pretty much completes the job. I'm really happy with how this TRD Pro replica grill looks on the Forerunner. The Raptor lights look great as well. Installation was quite easy. I hope you guys found the video useful. If you did, please like and subscribe. Hope to come up with a lot more videos and always appreciate your support. Thanks so much for watching guys. Hope to see you in the next one. Bye now.